Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Gundam Delta Kai, a unit from the UCMSV. Kind of a prototype of a prototype, you might say. It's an odd unit. Um, one fun fact is I think I've seen it in, I can't remember which manga, so it's been, I think it's appeared in the manga. It has a Optimus Prime face and it turns its pilot into a cyber new type. Quite interesting. In game, this is uh, keeping with the trend of me showing off level 2 suits because I don't have the level 1 version. A 650 to 700 cost ground and space capable general with a ballistic resistance of 22, a beam resistance of 24, and a melee <coughs> resistance of 23. Pardon me. A range strength of 44 and a melee strength of 33. Movement speed of 135, which is pretty good. And a thrust gauge of 80. For parts, we have close range of 18, medium of 19, and long range of 15. Kind of a midfield unit, oddly enough. For equipment, we have the Gundam Delta Kai LMB. It's an ammo-based rifle that can cause stagger. It's pretty decent, does decent damage, and teams up well with the range strength of the unit. We have the Gundam Delta Kai Beam Saber. It's a beam saber. It's like a nerf bat. You smack people with it. We got the 60mm Vulcan gun, which is a pretty nice set of head Vulcans that can do some decent damage, even considering the cost. It's, it's good for doing uh, charges at people that are very, very low health. Beam the uh, beam cannon, which fires multiple uh, beam shots, not super high damage, but you can move around uh, while firing. The high mega cannon, you have to stop to charge it, and it takes a few to charge it, but it will do some pretty decent damage because it shoots one continuous beam out for a certain amount of time. Then we got the PF funnels time two in the pincer, so it fly, these fly off from the back of the unit. Go to either side of the target and fire into it at least once or twice. I can't remember how many times. And, of course, the Gundam Delta Kai shield, which is a large size. For skills, we have the Emergency Evasion System Level 2, High Performance Radar Level 3, Fall Prevention System, Flight Control Program Level 4, Glide Structure Level 4, Quick Boost, which is not a bad one to have, Level 3, High performance radar, I mean balancer, good lord, pardon that. High spec AMBAC level 2, forced injector level 3, which is fantastic to have. A melee combo controller, transformation, flight of course. And then the NITRO, or nitro ability boost, which uh, activates at 50%, gives you a bit of a boost in mobility, but yeah, as you can see, in the, it's a bit of a mixed bag. And of course, when you're half dead, you're still half dead. The Psycom U Weapon Buffer, level 3, which is pretty good to have. The Back Binder Special Cushioning, level 3. And High Performance Counter Program, level 2, which is nice. From what I can say of this unit is, it is definitely a step up for a general. It has a number of weapons, and it has a couple skills that add in some ways that it should be played to get the most out of it. It's not the most complicated of the suits, nor is it the most powerful, but it is a good step if you want to have something that has a little bit more complexity to it, considering that you're going to have to manage flight, you're going to have to manage going through its weapons, you have the Nitro system, you have the uh, Psycom U bo boosting ability. It's a good general with a good amount of punch, but it's not the most devastating thing out there. But it's a lot of fun, and if you like transformable suits, this is one to go for. So let's see how it does in a match to come. Hey, welcome to the match, everybody. This is one of those uh, units I do enjoy, but I gotta say, I do not really like the uh, 760 cost range. I, I just don't seem to have very good luck involved in it. So, this was a, a fun match for what it was, even though I 
seem to be in a perpetual hell of a freaking arctic base so I'm going to start off by transforming charging up the uh, little beam attack and I was hoping to catch one of the units uh, but uh, of course I didn't quite have too much of a luck and I'm going to have to turn out before uh, I get stuck in front of a good chunk of the team and I'm going to take a shot completely with that and I'm going to try to come in and help out the team here we're uh, bullying, I believe, a Sazidi. Uh, hit him with a melee. Switch over. My guy's gonna move in the way. He's gonna dodge, so I know I can come in on him. But I didn't have quite the reach I wanted. He's gone now. And, um. Well, this is usually a good sign when you're starting a match. And my new gun to move in front of again. So I decided I'm gonna come over here and uh, help my guy out come in, give the uh, what, high noon gun them a little bit of a smack, but get smacked from the side. Uh, it's going to be a kind of a theme of this match of <laughs> the, uh, the team just smacking the snot out of one another. I'm going to miss the ramp because ugh, it's one of those days. Move up and uh, wow, number four is going for it. And I try to move in, get a lock, fire those in, get some damage in there. I see the one guy moving through the tunnel, but uh, there's not much I can do about that. So, our guys are just bullying the crap out of uh, this team. So, I'm going to move over here, start charging this laser. It is a relatively fast charge. Uh, their dude is just going to be like, nope, and leave. So, I'm hoping to catch one of these guys I'm gonna wait for it wait for it oh yeah look at that baby it's not, not that great but <laughs> made me feel good there we go so we're just gonna pour some uh, damage in on their support gonna miss that one shot and uh, well I'm gonna come in drop that a little too early on my part I was a bit fumbling around with this unit, but we're going to get some decent melee in there and get punched in the face. <laughs> like I said, it, it became a uh, pretty much just norm of getting hit. So there we go, we got a kill finally. We're uh, going to try to charge this up, fire into the uh, side there and again. There's their support. And I'm going to lock on with the uh, Psycom here. Do that. Come in. And I'm going to come up short. I have a bad habit of doing that with this unit's melee attack. So there's the Vulcans. They actually do some really substantial damage. And they're decent for uh, building up a little stagger on targets. So again, this unit is really quite capable of putting out a decent amount of ranged damage. I'm still trying to get a measure, but I haven't had no luck getting one so far. Um, so, I decide that I'm going to come up here and see if I can push this guy. But I see what's going on here, and I'm like, you know what? I'd rather go help my guy over here. And I'm going to get hit. <laughs> Fun. Uh, pop him right there. Get shot in the back. I believe that's the high moon, and we're going to die. Shazam! Didn't accomplish much, but hey, whatever. So I'm going to spawn back in just as they blow up our base. Always fun. I'm going to shoot this guy, catch him with a little bit of that melee goodness, give him a bit more, and then we're going to switch back to our ranged weapon. Uh, he's not going to uh, face us, which I thought was a little weird. I'm going to hit him when he comes out of back, give him a little bit more of that, let our measure come in, get hit by a tank, which is fun. And, uh, you know, the Sazabi is gonna bail out. I'm gonna go wide so I don't accidentally shoot my guy. And I decide I'm just gonna shoot the pink tank. Nope, oh, nope. I decide not to. Screw that tank. He can trudge home by himself. Oh, a uh, guy spawned in here. So gonna take a few shots at him. I don't know what he was doing or why their guy was just sitting in the dang tank. 
But we're gonna get in, hit him with some melee, deflect a little bit, the dude's gonna come in. And I'm just gonna move back because I got tired of him punching me. Now I'm gonna destroy the tank. Screw that guy. He's gone. Now. And we're gonna wait for the fire into the back. It was a little late, but I wanted to hold fire not to mess with my guys. There's that Sazabi again. Fire up, hit him, hit him with that. Hit him with a little bit of that. He's gonna get us with stagger. Or he's gonna catch our shield too. Get him with that. He's gonna catch him with the melee, knock him down. Um, this guy is going to smack us. Again, this is just one of those matches that I couldn't stop having people smack me on my team. So I'm going to come over here. I should have held my shot. I'm going to get in, hit him there, but of course, the unicorn, uh, yeah, the unicorn is going to hit me and knock me down again. So I'm going to wait, fire, he's gone. It really doesn't feel like I've got that much gone. I'm done in this match. I'm going to fire, hit the high noon. I'm going to knock him down a little bit. And we're going to uh, take him out. So there we go. We've gotten a couple kills now. We, uh, moving forward, we're trying to be careful of, uh, <laughs> some of the, of our, uh, our team members who have a nasty habit of going full on. We're gonna knock him down. I'm just gonna move forward so that my team can go after him. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna go after Sazabi, who really shouldn't have backed down like that. But, you know, it happens. Give him a few bits of smacking. I'm gonna drop down here, hit him with the rifle. At least I didn't get toppled, so that's good. Fire up, hit him with that. I'm gonna use that force projector for some good maneuvering. And we're gonna lose out on the kill, but hey, he's down and that's all that matters. So we're entering the final few seconds. I'm trying to get this Psycom U to do a little bit of something. And I'm just going to fire a few shots into uh, the Ether. Um, there we go. And this is off. We're going to try to go in, but we're not going to have the time. Oh well. Let's see how we did. There we go. That's a lot of stuff on one unit. And it's very skinny. So, no board spots, but we got third spot, or third place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.